Us. Your Delta News at 5 begins in Holmes County, where a man is jailed after a weekend homicide. 29-year-old Donald Wilson of Chula is charged with murder. He's accused of the Sunday shooting of 43-year-old Christopher Robinson. The Holmes County Sheriff's Department says the shooting happened in the parking lot of Club Mix. Wilson's bond is set at $500,000. Six people die on Mississippi highways during the 4th of July weekend. The first happened Friday night on Highway 44 in Pike County. A pedestrian walking in the eastbound lane was struck by a vehicle that was also traveling east. On Saturday, the driver of a pickup died of injuries received in a collision on Highway 145 in Lauderdale County. The patrol says he attempted a left turn across traffic. On Sunday, also in Lauderdale County, the driver of a passenger car died after a crash on Highway 19. The vehicle left the roadway and partially rolled over ejecting the driver. In Ashoba County, one person died in a head-on collision Sunday on Highway 19. And on Monday, troopers recorded two fatalities in Panola and Quitman counties. Part of the Mississippi State Penitentiary at Parchment is on lockdown after officials say two inmates were assaulted. According to media reports, two inmates were stabbed Monday morning. One was taken to a hospital, and the other's injuries were not life-threatening. Unit 30D of the prison was placed on lockdown during the investigation. It's not clear how long the lockdown lasted or whether it has been lifted. Strong storms rolled through the Delta Monday evening and Tuesday morning. Two storm reports were issued to the National Weather Service. Both were about a mile southwest and northwest of Cleveland. A window was blown out of Harmony Bowling Lanes and crops were blown down to ground level at Aguzi Farms. Storms struck again this morning, causing more down to tree limbs and crop damage across the de Delta. Eric will have more coming up in weather. A Delta entertainer who has brought a major event to the area now wants to buy the park where it's held. Greenville native Steve Azar appeared this morning before the Washington County Board of Supervisors. He is interested in buying Warfield Point Park. The park has been host to the annual Mighty Mississippi Music Festival, which is organized by Azar with partner Jason Fratizzi. Some board members express concern about public access, but Azar says he encourages everyone to use the park. We feel like the Mighty Mississippi and Downer Entertainment started bringing people out there and making them aware of this resource that we have. And all we would want to do is potentially uh, work with everybody because I'm all about this place, and so is Jason. Uh, that would be uh, that would be bring up tax dollars uh, annually. We want to know if you're either. not immediately make a decision about Azar's proposal. While the start of a new semester is right around the corner, one incoming freshman is help, getting help with the cost. Washington County employee Charlie Cremeen received a $500 scholarship. It was presented this morning during the Board of Supervisors meeting. Cremeen will use the funds toward tuition and books at Mississippi Delta Community College and the Greenville Higher Education Center. It means a lot to me. I mean, it was great. I mean, I had a lot of help from family and friends to get this scholarship, and especially with my mom, Donna Cremey, working for the courthouse. I'm grateful and very happy to have this scholarship, and I want to thank everybody for the board of, for the board of supervisors.